Creativity is part of your supply chain. And so once you know what clients your agency has, what uh, impact they're making in terms of their carbon with their, the advertisements they're running, you actually have a really great picture of what this piece of your supply chain looks like and you can begin to mitigate it and approach it with um, you know, the future of the planet in mind. So I'm here representing the climate community, but I'm also here because I'm an agency head. We've been running an agency for uh, 20 years. And what I find fascinating is this huge debate we're having at Cannes about the crisis in talent and the crisis in creativity that we just can't seem to bring in, in-house or in agency, the smartest, brightest people in the world on um, uh, on creativity and then of course we also have the climate crisis over here and the thing which no one's saying is it's the same crisis the crisis of talent and the crisis of uh, climate is the same thing because all the young people who come to work for me want to work in a way that's in line with their values they don't want to use all their talent all their creativity all their ideas all their ideation on briefs that they don't think is making the world a better place so that's the one thing that I think we just sort of need to shake things up yeah. and wake up into our industry which is we can have all of these community conversations we like about whether we're going to do it or not but actually the young talent might decide this for us. I am really proud that there are over 300 agencies that have taken the Clean Creatives Pledge. I think it shows that this is part of building a sustainable business as an agency, as a creative, um, that if you want to attract young talent this is a way to do it. Um, you know, Young people who are entering the workforce now they marched in 2019 with Greta. Um, they've seen this issue happening their entire lives and they want to be a part of the solution. And so I'm really proud to see that happening. Um, I'm really proud of all the work um, that's been done by creatives to make the Race to Zero uh, pledge possible. Um, I think it's just an amazing demonstration of the power of combination of brands and individual creatives to make themselves heard. So I have a lot of inspiration, I guess. So one of the things which we see is a number of, um, of businesses beginning to invest in some of the solutions. So not, you know, perhaps the sort of born green rather than yep. the born again. So a lot of big businesses are born again on this. Perhaps they weren't set up to save the world and they're trying to re-engineer themselves to be relevant to new consumers and new market and of course the new world that we live in. And But they're beginning to invest in some of the born green. So just in this last week, I've been talking to Google about their Google Prize, which goes to new tech for sustainability, to AB InBev and Coca-Cola who are investing investing in a new fund to help startups who are solving some of their problems. I know Mars has one. So this is one of the things which I'm beginning to see, which is companies putting their marketing dollars where their mouth is. Take, for example, Unilever. So Unilever decided to take part of the marketing budget away from their brands and invest it in a climate and nature fund. And the only way the brands can get that money back is if they actually work with the solutions providers and actually make that happen. This is a great example of our industry of marketeers beginning to put our money where our mouth is.